Hello everyone, so it's been a long time since I didn't post any video, um, I've been just um, very busy with work and all of this kind of stuff. So um, today I just wanted to do a very quick and laid back video about uh, my new doll story and how I'm getting um, on with it. Right. So my new doll is an Agati Alpha. Let me see if I can focus here. He's a 1-6 um, doll size and he's absolutely marvelous. Um, he's very portable. Um, he's very, very, very realistic. Um, I'm really pleased with him. And I was initially going to do a, um, a body review, but I thought that maybe I could start with, you know, talking about some stories and why did I get him and all this kind of stuff. So, to begin with, uh, this doll is done by Agati. Um, she's a, uh, let's say, independent BJD author, sculptor, whatever it's called. Um, she is doing amazing 1-6 um, um, male dolls and female dolls. And I'm really, really in love with, let me see if I focus here, with the realism of the sculpture and how well they pose and everything. They didn't really sit down very well, at least mine. Um, but I'm really in love with the face and all the um, features for such a small doll, it's really amazing. So, I've been trying to do makeup, well, face-ups for a long time and this is actually one of my face-ups. It's not perfect, as you can see, it has a lot of flaws. Um, those eyes are new eyes I got him from Etsy. Yeah, it's, it's been a bit of a chaotic um, months, but now I'm getting on the hobby again and I'm trying to get back to this, um, you know, dull hobby thing like sewing and designing and things like that. He's an elf-eared doll, as you can see in there. Um, the character fits these um, sculpt very well and I'm just really pleased with him. So, as you know, one of the things that I really like to do when I'm designing a doll story is to design the clothes and design the outfits and the story that they're going to be having. So, I've grabbed my um, outfit dolly book, whatever it's called, and I decided to start designing some of the clothes for him. So, it's just a rough sketch, it's not even properly done. Um, but I wanted him to look like a wintry look with, um, let's say, a very old, very old um, textile fashion and very wintry um, fabrics. So I've decided that his outfit is going to be this one here. Um, it's going to be having a a different part. So it's going to be a cape. This is going to be some goats for. Um, these very tight trousers and this top part. So, and then um, I did a very close up, um, if I can find, cave um, illustration here. I'm really, really excited about how is that cave illustration, um, you know, going. I'm really in love with this. I really like very organic textile and very organic, you know, looking dolls. So, I wanted him to look like he's he fits into the nature he, he's not I mean the character is um he's a guardian of a cemetery that is on the north of a, of a world that um, the um, ghosts are just everywhere so um, he needs to be um, very um, you, you need to look at the character and see this is a winter character this character is going to um, enjoy being on the, on the cold weather and is going to have a very wintry face. That's why I got him these very cold, you know, blue eyes. And, um, however, his um, skin is somehow tan and not very pale, and that's um, part of his background story. So, so this is it, guys. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update about what I'm going, what I'm doing 
now on the hobby and what I'm focusing on and um, yeah so I'm just getting some new dolls, new stories, um, I'm really into photography right now, I'm trying to do better artworks with my dolls. Um, I did his wig as well as you can see over her um, and his face up. Um, I've just designed his clothes, so I'm really really wishing to receive the clothes and to start getting him more complete. So I hope I will do a body review or another very story close up thingy for him because I'm really into this character. Um, so thank you very much for watching, I'll see you soon, hopefully. Bye guys!